What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a launch pad tutorial. The Novation launch pad. Right here. I got this puppy a few months ago and I haven't used it a whole lot, but it's really fun. I'm learning how to use it in the pro I'm in the process of learning. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna unbox it again. I'm gonna show you the basics on how to do it and how to get Ableton and just how to work Ableton so that you can uh, play sounds on each of the different buttons. So let's get right to it. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna set this up right here and let's get this launch pad opened. Okay, so we're just gonna, you just gotta open it from the front. There's a little bit of a struggle. So in the top, you have the instruction manual right here. Okay, make sure you follow all of these directions in here in order. I don't think I have to read through them because if you're watching this, you probably have launch pads. So, unless you're one of my random subscribers that just likes to watch my videos because they're super cringy. But, if either of those apply to you, you're cool. Okay, so, you just follow all of these and once you get Ableton... You also have to create a Novation account and all that junk, and then there's this code on the back that you're not supposed to see that, but you're, there's this code on the back that you can uh, make your account with. <clears throat> so once you do all that, and you have Ableton pulled up, which I do right now, but I'm not going to, uh, I mean, I could show you that right now, but I'm not going to. Um, you open up the box, and there's this nice plastic sheet right here, and... Um, I don't, I already unboxed this, so I mean, I've used this thing a ton. Um, and then in the side container, there's going to be the cord, the orange cord for the launch pad. And so, all you do is you plug the cord into your USB in your computer that has Ableton on it. And then, you plug the, um... There's this little port right here, and you plug the other side into the launch pad, and then you start up Ableton, and it'll work perfectly fine. So let's try it out. Okay, guys, so here's the launch pad, and um, I already have the cord configured all through my like little setup here. So you're just going to plug it in to the uh, top of the launch pad, nice and good, and it should glow. Oh, look at that. That's beauty. Now, when you have it, when you plug it in after Ableton is up, it's going to be all weird, weirded out. So you got, you're going to want to, like, I don't know, I'm going to close out Ableton and restart it. Okay, so now that we have our launch pad hooked up, the top row should be glowing. This is how you can um, go through, go through the different areas, pressing those buttons. Um, so you have your three different sections, you have your four different sections, I'm dumb. So you have session, which is, which is, um, everything that's on these right here. So only these first four rows are activated up through here. Then you have user one and user two. These are primarily for if you have preloaded songs that you want to use, or I'll show you, um, how to use user one a little bit later. Mixer is um it looks cool but it don't really mess with it much so if you tap on this it, it um you can like drag down and up all the way i would leave it at the start because if you change it it changes the uh settings on the on the actual thing see so that these dials change when you anyways so then there's more there's this one this one and this one these aren't being used right now i don't know i'm not going to really fun just to do that anyways so we're gonna go back to session leave it at that and I will show you how to pull up a sample okay so in the instructions manual it has this page right here for a Mac it's very similar on a Windows computer if you have a Windows computer I am very not cool so I have a Windows computer and so it's a little different so you just have to go your um so you just have to go to the preferences 
which I find that I do not remember where that is. Let's see. Options. You just have to go to preferences right down here. So it's in the options tab for Windows people, and you go down to preferences, and then it should. Oh yeah, it's got this little pop-up box here, and you gotta go to the. Let's see which one is it. Lincoln MIDI one, I, I believe. Yeah, Lincoln MIDI track. So the instruction manual just basically tells you you have to go to the control surface input and output tabs, and you just have to go to the drop down and you have to pick Launchpad MK2, and it won't change ever after that. It'll always pick up this when you plug it in. So, and then for these buttons down here, you just have to, it, it shows you how to do that in the instruction manual, but you just want to have the uh, track and remote on for both of them and the sync. You should have the sync on for output. Don't got that on. Okay. And now your, your launch pad is set and you can use that. Okay, so once your launch pad is configured, you just want to go, so you can go, you can do anything. See, these right here are all of my songs that I have that you can like, so they're called live sets. You can go to file and hit open live set and you can go to one of your um, folders and see, I have a folder called Ableton Live that has all of these things in it. So, but before you get all that, you want to just test it out, right? So I will show you, so you can go to sounds or I'm going to do instruments. No, I'm not. I'm going to do sounds. Okay, so you can pick any instrument. Let's do piano. I already have a piano, so let's see. So right now I have I have my computer hooked up to a auxiliary port, so I got my speaker. So once you press this, you can just press this blue button to hear what it sounds like. It sounds like that. So you just want to drag this right up to the MIDI track, the first one. So this says bright tunes. You want to make sure this little orange button right down here is lit. Oh, it's lit. Okay. So now you have this row lit on your board because this row is all now bright tunes. And so now you're going to want to go to user one and all of these now work as, as um, bright tunes. So that's how you do a song a sound but for drums it's a little bit different okay so now you're going to want to go to the drum rack so well I mean this is the drum rack but you can pick any sound that you want we'll go with kick horn 909 I believe so I'm gonna drag that to my other MIDI track over here now MIDI tracks and audio tracks they're easy to insert they're kind of self-explanatory if you just right click on one of the top bars, okay, so now it loaded, but if you right click on the top, you can uh, insert MIDI track, insert audio track, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so now, see how this orange button is lit down here? Well, when I unclicked it, it unclicked it on the launch pad, but when I click it again, it's now lit on the launch pad. So when I go to user one, it work. It works now. But the only difference is, instead of using all 64 pads, it uses the bottom left 16 pads. So these up here and over here don't do anything. It's only these bottom ones. Now, I myself am still a beginner, so I don't know. It's I know how to get some color on the pad. So like if I touch this, it'll be orange. But I don't know how to actually make it whatever color I want. So in order to change this to get whatever color, I'm gonna go back to Bright Tunes because I like that. Um, so you just go to All Ins, you select Launchpad MK2, and then Channel is always going to be Channel 6. Whenever it's anything, it's always Channel 6. I'm gonna leave that at Master. And so, um, let's see. No, that didn't work. But it's, um, it's, it's pretty, pretty fun once you get to know how to use it it'll take me it's gonna take me a little while but you know it's, it's it's pretty great okay so that's about it for this tutorial 
if you have any questions, just comment, uh, like the video, subscribe. I don't know. It's pretty fun if you ask me, but I'm still learning. Thanks. I'm out.